Pastor Curtis Hutchinson here with part three of Overflow with Pastor Curtis. This is our third session on deliverance from fear. Today we want to look at God's love, the cross of Christ, and our deliverance from fear. We're so blessed. We're so blessed and we do not have to live in fear. We can live by faith. It is the opposite of fear. We don't have to be bound in the bondages of fear. We can live by faith. When faith comes, my friends, faith overcomes. Let's get into this today. First John chapter 4, and let's look here in verse 16. And we have known and believed. We know this. We believe this. The love that God has to us God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. Are you dwelling in love? If you are, God is dwelling in you. Dwell doesn't mean just being there. Dwell means to remain, to continue, to really to continue what was begun. So, Watch this. Let's read this again. And we have known two things. You got to know this, and then you got to believe this. We have known and believed the love that God has to us. How, how, what do we know about the love that God has to us? We'll see this today. We have to see this, or fear will reign over us our entire lives and control us, even when we think it's not. And all we'll do is spend all our lives trying to deliver ourselves, fight fear with the fear itself, and it won't work. Flesh can't cast out flesh. Flesh can't cast out fear. So watch this. How, what, what is it that I know about God's love? What is it that I claim I believe about God's love to me? We have known and believed the love that God has to us. What? Well, what would I tell somebody if they asked me, well, what is the love of God to you that you claim you know, that you claim you believe? Well, it's God loved me enough to give his son for me. That's his love toward me. The cross is toward me. It's what God did for me, to show me, to give me. And, and not only that, to make me, hallelujah, in, in his son that died there for me. God so loved the world that he, gave his only begotten son. Now watch, uh, we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. And he that dwells in love, and that means abides, that means continue to remain in this action. Love is an action. Love is God so loved, he did something. What did he do? He gave. Hallelujah. So watch this. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. Now, the next verse says, verse 17, herein, that means in here, in this, in our knowledge of and believing that God's love is to us through the giving of his son, not some feeling I have, not some emotion, but my faith in the death of Jesus, my faith in what God offered to me. When he offered his son, he offered you himself and he offered you his love. And when you believed it in what Christ did at Calvary, he, he, what did he do? He shed his love abroad in your heart. Watch now. Herein is our love made perfect. In what? that we know and believe that God's love is to us. In this, in here, is our love made perfect. Why? So that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. How is he? He is God's love offered to us, Christ. And we have that love shed abroad in our hearts. Hallelujah. So watch this now. Verse 18, there is no fear in love. 
This is, this is the main reason you and I must never look away from Calvary, never move away from hearing the word in the context of Calvary. Because if we are, we're not hearing in its context of love. The, the cross of Christ is the only avenue through which God can love and offer that love and be that love in experience to anyone. So we can't just read the word, hear the word, and, and, and not be looking at the word through the love of God, which is the cross of Christ. We hear a lot about love. It's all about love. It is all about love. But the Bible says the cross in 1 John 4, 9 and 10, when you back up in this chapter, you will see twice in this, herein, it tells you, is the manifested love of God, is that God gave his son. That's the manifested love of God, and that he gave his son. And it tells us up there, not that we love God. The love of God is not that I love God, but that he loved me. Hallelujah. I know this. I believe this. And therefore, because I choose to continue to believe this, not just say I do. See, the Lord is showing me something in the last two or three days, really more than ever before, that when we believe something, we are given to that something or we don't believe it. It's like the man who uh, drove a, a wheelbarrow across a thousand foot cable about this big, just him and the wheelbarrow, no ropes, no safety net, no anything. And he walked it across that tight rope and came back and there were a crowd of people gathered. And he said, do you think I can do it again? They said, yes. So he did it again. He walked all the way across that, pushing that wheelbarrow and came all the way back. And by this time, there was a massive crowd there. They couldn't believe what they they were seeing and he pushes it right the wheelbarrow right up to him and he says do you believe I can do it again and the crowd says yes and he pointed to one man that said yes I believe you can do it again and he said well you get in the wheelbarrow this time and we'll go across and he said oh no no I, I'm not getting in the wheelbarrow I'm not going to be a part of it because he didn't really believe he could do it again. He wanted to see him do it again, but he didn't believe he could do it again. Because if, you, if you're not willing to become a part of something, you don't believe it. Not fully. Like you have to believe in Christ fully. When you seek the Lord with your whole heart, then you'll find him. Hallelujah. Oh, that's good today. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Watch this now, verse 18. There is no fear in love absolutely no fear. So you, you don't have to live your life in fear. Fear that you can't sound wise. Fear that you can't have as much as they do. Fear that, just fear, fear, fear. And, and, and listen to me, and this is such a powerful statement and so true and cannot be refuted with scripture, but it's so painful and makes many angry. Every Christian who is not trusting in the death of Jesus, conscious decision, walking with their faith in their union with Christ in his death, then they're being dominated by the sin nature. No, not back out on whiskey and drugs and gambling and uh, adultery and all that. But, the, but listen, the sin nature, the sin nature will serve God if we'll be willing to do it according to our own fleshly carnal lusts, if it's all about us doing good, if it's all about us just talking about love, and, 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 and fear is not going bye-bye until our hearts get back to the place of surrender to the cross where we walk in our identity with Christ, which is in his union of death. Our union with Christ is in his death. You say, well, no, my union with Christ, I died, but now my union with him is, is, is in his resurrection. My friend, you don't know your Bible like you should. The Bible says you have resurrection power, but the Bible says that you're being made conformable unto the death of Jesus. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit turns us over always, those of us who are alive, unto the death of Jesus so that we might express his life. So that's this is the only place of fear leaving. 
You fear somebody else is going to get a promotion. You're not. You fear just a constant life of nothing but fear. And let me say this. While I'm living in the bondage of fear, I am not trusting in the death of my Savior. I might say I am, but I'm not. And this is where most preachers would come in and say, no, now you can be trusting in the cross of Christ and, and still be bound in fear. Well, that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that you are delivered. Look at what the Bible says. There is no fear in love. And when you are knowing that your God has loved you, the God of the Bible, the one that gave his son to prove he loved you, and you're believing that God loves you through your faith in what he did to give you that love, my friend, there's no fear in that. So you've come too late to tell me that you can be believing in the cross. See, this is where we've made a grave mistake. Oh, we believe the cross happened, but to be trusting in that, to be believing that God loves me enough right now in this moment to deliver me from the fear that so long kept me from functioning the way I should, that's prevented me from uh, uh, responding in situations the way I should as I'm led of the Spirit. I haven't been led of the Spirit because fear has been dominating my life. Listen, fear doesn't have to dominate your life. Romans 8, 15, the Bible says, For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving your son for me. Thank you for getting rid of my old self in Christ's death and making me a new creation in him. That hidden inner man. Hallelujah. You can be delivered from fear. God wants you delivered from fear, but you can't do it yourself. Jesus did it for you. He provided the way out of the bondage of fear. You can live in fear your entire life as a Christian, but it's not God's will. I pray that the Lord will use this session today to touch your heart and to remind you that his love was manifest at Calvary in Christ Jesus. And if that is what you're trusting in, fear has got to go. And we'll talk more about this next time. I sure love you, and I'm praying for you. We need to shine like a brighter and brighter light, hallelujah, just like that path he put us on. It's shining more until that perfect day. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay determined to know absolutely nothing but Christ and Him crucified. See you then.
to you. So help me, Lord, to keep your plan before my own. Oh, Jesus, hold my hand so I can go through the valley and I pray and spread your word every step. I'll keep my roots planted deep, and I'll keep my heart reserved.